All right, hey everyone, Christian here from CK Wraps. So today we're gonna to wrap this spoiler. It's like a duckbill style spoiler. Uh, nevertheless, it's a spoiler. There's, there's so many different kinds of spoilers out there. Uh, a lot of them tend to be like this, for example. So I just did one on a Mercedes uh, C43, a brand new one. Uh, we did it in gloss black, but it's a much smaller version of this. So this is a bit more extreme as far as the bend underneath and uh, the curvature of the spoiler. We're wrapping it in uh, satin black. We're using Avery satin black. So I'm going to uh, just blow off some of this dust. I just saw some dust. So the surface is already prepped with isopropyl alcohol. Uh, I've just blown away all the contaminants. And I've got my piece of vinyl already cut and ready to go. So. The key to this is very similar to the trunk. It's like doing kind of like a mini trunk in, in, this, in the way that we're gonna do it. So we're not just gonna lay flat on top because we're gonna have issues wrapping underneath. We need to conform the film around the spoiler itself. All right? So, I'm gonna start by removing some of this backing paper. actually. So the customer wanted to do, for those of you who may ask, wanted to do the spoiler in satin black to match the roof. Alright, so when we're stretching this film, we're stretching it around this way. Very little heat will be needed or used. curved underneath, which is great. It's exactly where we want it. We need to fix up the ends though, because the ends are not where we want those. So as soon as I relieve the tension, look, it just wraps itself. I don't have to do anything. All I have to do is squeeze the air out and get rid of a bit of those wrinkles that I have right there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to glass this a little bit more, or sorry, conform this a little bit more. Alright. So this is stretching Cold. I mean, cold stretch meaning we're not adding any heat, but really kind of depends on the temperature, the ambient air temperature of the environment that you're in. So, because you could have a hot air temperature in your work environment. So, would it be cold pre stretch? I don't know. Depends on how hot it is. Some of these guys in Puerto Rico are wrapping cars and it's like 110 degrees outside, so you tell me if that's cold pre-stretch or not. Anyways, we're gonna squeegee this down. Yes, there's tension and there's lots of it, but tension in a good way. So the tension that I have right now is pulling across. It's not pulling from the bottom and from the top. It's not pulling this way and pulling this way. So we're not going to get any lifting in here. So what I need to do is just get some of this down and then I'm going to shrink it with heat. Oh, 
It's getting there. So eventually we're going to have to add some heat. We're going to have to add a bit of heat around the edges and stuff like that to shrink this around. But first, I'm going to finish off some of the top here. So as you can see, the Avery is super conformable, um, even without heat. Also, again, this is a pressure sensitive film. Yeah. I'm just going to add a bit of heat around the top here. I want to shrink all this back that I've stretched. Just try and position it so that I've gotten the wrinkles out. Shrink this right now. It's going to shrink itself to the shape just a bit. I'm going to assist it slightly with the squeegee. Mainly, it's going to be grabbing on really nicely around this corner here. What I'm doing over on this corner is I'm just tucking the vinyl underneath the corner. So this is much easier to do the spoiler while it's mounted, mounted to the car. As I've mentioned in other videos, it's always a little bit more difficult to do something when it's not mounted to something.
wanted to lift that up. And then I added a touch of heat so that it'll shrink back. I'm gonna hold it out and let it, and let it do its thing right now. Okay. Squeeze that down. If, so let me just say one thing here. You could do this spoiler in two pieces. You could put a piece under here first, and then do a piece over top, overlapping the underside piece about, a, about an eighth of an inch. So don't think that you have to do it in one piece. It's just nicer to do it in one piece, and I'm showing you how to do it in one piece, but you don't have to do it in one piece. asking yourselves if you could put just a piece on the bottom. You sure, sure you could. It's not going to look bad uh, as long as your cut is nice and straight. So you're definitely going to want to use knifeless tape for that. So I'm going to shrink it around the corner here. I'm going to help it go around the corner. So I'm going to show you this in just a moment. I believe I'm pretty much finished. Just making sure that I'm far enough in for when I cut. Okay. Alright, so let's trim this out. Pretty effortlessly. Any wrinkle on this corner that I want to fix. There we go. I'm trying to back my blade on the top side of the spoiler. There's a bit of a gap there between the trunk and the spoiler. pretty smooth. All right, I'm 
almost there. So before we do anything, or before we just leave it, we're going to post seat the edges. There's a fair bit of stretch, but nothing that crazy on it. And we're just going to make sure everything looks nice and tight. Cool. So that's how we wrap the spoiler. Alright, so the spoiler looks good. And that's it. Alright. So, that's pretty much it for this car. No, there's, um, there's still a door handle and a mirror wrap. I'm not doing those because I've done it already on this car. I'm going to show you how to do a shark fin antenna also. Uh, that's not done yet, so I'll have to do that for you. If you guys want to see more detailed pictures and videos, want to see this car all finished in the end, check out our Instagram, CK Raps. Thanks, everyone. Take care.